Hi right, guys, it's been about a year since this thing's left me stranded and my grass is turning yellow underneath there. So let's uh let's see if we can't figure out why we're not getting any fuel. Um, I did some testing. I got spark. Um, I'm not getting fuel out of this guy up here. So um, I bypassed the fuel pump. I still wasn't getting fuel there. But if I opened up my gas cap, I could hear gas splashing. So we're going after the gas tank. To get this gas tank out, first I gotta remove this skid plate. I think those are 13s. I'm getting them out, but I'm gonna leave that one in there until I get these back ones. They're up there. And um, I need another extension to get those. We got the cover off from it. Now we gotta get these big bolts out. There's a nut on top, so looks like it's gonna be work. We got our jack under there. I don't know how much gas is in this. I just got to get that bolt out and another bolt and then we can come down and disconnect the pump. And I really have a feeling that something came disconnected in that new pump. It's just a cheap one off of Amazon. So we might be replacing on it. I got to get these gas lines off and I believe there's some kind of weird squeeze thing but I do have the gas line tools. Let's see if those work. Alright, so I can't get it all the way out of there because there's a ground strap that I just don't need to unhook. And as soon as the top popped off from there, I found a dangly hose. Like I said, it sounded like it was splashing right back into the tank. Hopefully there's the hose disconnected. But why on a brand new fuel pump would the hose just disconnect? Let's get this inside, see what's going on. The problem is, is this hose popped out of here, I don't know if you can see it, the hose popped out of, yeah, it popped out of right there. Now was it not in there good? I mean it's trying to come out again now, so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna keep that in there. So I was wondering if maybe they didn't get it all the way in there at the factory, but when I just did that, it kind of just it just went right in there so it's gonna fall out again so it's either figure out a way to keep that in there or buy a new pump all right so I'm gonna try to drill a little hole and then just get some kind of set screw in there and I think that'll be enough to hold it used to drill and tap and I went in there went in through all of the plastic tapped it grabbed me a nice screw um, shoved the hose back in there and I cannot pull that back out even if I wiggle it so I think we're good to go let's get it back in the truck see what happens all right so I got the fuel pump or I got the whole everything back in let's see uh, let's see if I got the right key here come on come on what come on All right, what is going on? All right, let me do some more looking. All right, so it's been a long time since I messed with this. 
fuel pump, fuel pump relay. It's not even in there. Let's go grab a relay. All right, so I don't remember what one it is. Does it take five prongs or four prongs? I think it's only four. I don't see no metal down in there, so just shove this guy in there. Oh no, that's the five pronger guy. Just shove this guy in there. There we go. Everything out of the way. Grab that relay. All right, now. I can hear it. And now it stopped. Still no fuel, huh? Come on. Come on. I could hear the fuel pump going now. Still no fuel up here though. We all just got a bunch of air out of there. Maybe I just need to keep priming this fuel pump. Seems to be the problem. I'm confident I will get it to run. Today. Still, at least I'm getting air. I wasn't getting anything before, so I think it's a matter of uh, repriming the pump each time. I don't like how I can hear it dripping back into the tank, but I'm not getting fuel up here. Alright, we're starting to get fuel up here. I'll do this a few more times. something click under here air and fuel should I try it it's so weird I'm thinking I might still have a fuel pump problem huh There's still just not enough fuel. Should be pumping though when I turn the key. Oh, I heard it. We're going to get it. I heard her pop off. I heard her pop off. All right. Back and forth. Back and forth. Name of the game. Let's start. Why? So there's still something going on because when I hooked up the fuel pump direct. See with the relay in there, she don't want to do nothing. Come on. Yeah. hitting all right so the fans hitting some I think my training lines oh, plenty of room now oh yeah that's right she is running again it's only been a year running good too. Oh, is it so good to see you turning over again. Put a lot of time and money into this guy. Get some air in the tires. All 
Uh, I still gotta get all the gas tank buttoned up. And we gotta get that back together. I didn't I didn't tighten down no bolts or nothing. I just wanted to make sure that that's what the problem was. It took a long time to get the air out of the line. I was getting scared there for a minute. I don't know why that ABS breaks on and off all the time. Power steering, or uh, air conditioner. All right, well, let's get it, let's get it, uh, let's get it wrapped up. All right, so I'm definitely gonna be afraid to take this thing anywhere until I run it more, but it'll be nice to get it out on the road and see if she's gonna give me any trouble. I got the wrong key. <laughs> trouble number one. I do not know what this key is too. It might be to the parts one that I used to have. So what I do with the other key. Alright, so here it is. Now, let's see if it's going to give me any trouble. It takes a minute to start. She used to fire right off. She's moving under her own power. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Alright guys, there's no traffic right now. Gotta make it quick. I'm standing where the blazer was sitting. Uh, she's moving on her own now. I'm going to be a little afraid of that fuel pump for a minute, but there she is. She's out there on the road. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.